guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, quick video. I want to respond to some comments I got on my pro-gun versus pro-second amendment video. It um, wasn't a lot, but about a handful of people basically uh, you know, left comments saying they were pro-gun, but they believe in things like background checks and making sure that, that felons don't get a hold of firearms. Um, and those happen to be two things that I have a very strong opinion on, so I wanted to kind of do a video response on that and kind of kind of put my opinion out there. Um, if you've watched my channel for a while, you've probably heard me talk about this stuff in the past, but I thought it was time for a little bit of a refresher. Um, now, when it comes to the felon thing, this is not and should not be an issue of restricting rights uh, for any group or set of individuals. This is and always should be a criminal justice issue and handled on their side of the table. And what I mean by that is, if somebody has been determined by the criminal justice system to be so dangerous that they cannot be trusted with a basic human right as a free citizen to defend themselves with the arms of the day, okay, then they should not be released from prison. All right? If somebody has been determined by the criminal justice system to be rehabilitated and they are allowed to walk freely among the citizenry, um, then they should have all their rights back, not just some. Period. All right? Um, you know, people like to say, well, the Second Amendment, you know, uh, yeah, it, it, it gives you that right, uh, you know, to, uh, to keep and bear arms, but, you know, the criminal justice system, that's just a law, so they, they get to come in and say that you can't, uh, you know, fall under the umbrella of that law. No, the Second Amendment simply acknowledges that as a natural-born citizen, as a, as a human being, as a, as a free individual, you have the right to defend yourself with the arms of the day. It simply acknowledges that you have that right as a human being. So again, if a human being cannot be trusted with that basic human right, then they shouldn't be out of prison in the first place. All right, background checks. This is one that surprises me because I don't understand why it's still being brought up to this day. Over the last 30 years, even people who have pushed these, these background check laws through have come out and said, well, we understand it's not going to stop criminals from buying guns, and we understand it's not going to stop criminals from committing crimes with guns, but we have to do something, right? Literally, that's what some people have come out and said. Studies have been done several times over the last 30 years by pro-gun organizations, by anti-gun organizations, by government organizations that have proven that background checks do not contribute to decreased gun crime, period. Okay, the, the effects of a background check are so negligible that it is statistically non-existent. So, they understand this, yet they still push for background checks. Even anti-gunners admit that background checks don't work. So, why is this still a thing? Why are we still pushing for these laws? Why is this still an argument that anti-gunners have, or even some people who are pro-gun have? It's like somebody still saying, well, the world is flat, so don't sail too far that way or you'll go off the edge of the earth. No, we've already proven that the world is round, um, and that would be a stupid argument. Uh, background checks are the same way. It's a stupid argument. Um, it's ridiculous, and it's pointless, and I just don't get why people are still throwing it up as if it's even a thing. So, there you go, guys. Uh, that is my opinion on uh, felons having guns and uh, background checks for uh, gun purchases. Um, hopefully, I, I'm, that got my point across without seeming too aggressive, but um, those are two things I'm very passionate about. So, uh, questions, comments, anything like that, leave them down below, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks.